retrieve those 13 Russian diplomats as part of the mission to the UN that the United States is expelling from the country on the grounds that they believe that they've been spying on behalf of the Russian state. They have until Monday to leave, so that plane will be going before then, but we still don't know exactly at which point this evening is due to take off. In the last couple of hours, there has been a lot of movement, a lot of action. Obviously, you know, the fuel truck, the catering truck, the stairs, they've all kind of pulled away, and so we were expecting the aircraft to then start going and be able to pull back uh, after that point. But still, uh, seemingly, a lot of logistics to get through, flight plans, other sorts of permissions. And then also another incident here at Dallas Airport where a plane had to be diverted and be met with emergency services, which would have potentially stalled things further. So a lot of eyes and onlookers um, firmly planted on the plane behind me to see exactly when it will leave. But at this point, we presume at least that everyone that's supposed to leave on it is sated uh, on the plane. Earlier this week, President Joe Biden at his State of the Union address made it fundamentally clear that the United States, as have a lot of other countries and the EU, for example, closing its airspace to Russian aircraft. The one behind me is very much a Russian aircraft. It's, it's got the Russian flag sort of planted against, the, the, planted on the tail of it. And yet an exception was made here by the United States. The reason being is that they were the ones that set that deadline for the uh, diplomats to be expelled from the country. And therefore, I guess the logic within Washington was that in order to facilitate that progress, what we're also looking out for, of course, is the Russian response to all this. Whatever sort of reaction, tit for tat, that they may employ in terms of removing their American representatives, sorry, the American representatives in Moscow and transferring them back to Washington, D.C.